Hello, I'm here today with my patient Camille McPherson of the San Diego Ballet. She's a ballerina in the ballet and she has a, a peroneal tendon injury. She has peroneal tendinopathy, uh, which is a little bit different than tendinitis, and I'll explain in a second. Um, actually, I'll explain that first. So uh, just for the record, tendinitis is inflammation of the tendon. Tendinopathy is a uh, degeneration of the collagen protein in the tendon. And it, uh, it used to be that the terms were used interchangeably until they started actually looking at the tissues microscopically. And now that they now understand that a lot of things that we call tendinitis, uh, or like tennis elbow, for example, lateral epicondylitis, that actually the tendinopathy is the precursor to the tendinitis, not vice versa. So the thing is, um, it's a slightly moot point. There are some differences in treatment, like home treatment, like tendinitis, you ice tendinitis, and tendinopathy, you don't ice it. And um, But they, they're both overuse injuries that occur from overuse of a muscle and tendon. Uh, uh, the tendon is what attaches the muscle to the bone. Uh, overuse or, or trauma, uh, like sudden burst of use. Um, and so I'm treating her today. You can see there's a lot of needles and I'm doing dry needling in which I'm not only using the needles to release trigger points, which is what most physical therapists are doing, but I'm also using the needles kind of the way you, as an extension of my hands, the way a massage therapist would. So I'm, I'm using them in tender spots through the tendon. Now I wouldn't do this on everybody, but I know this patient really well. I know Camille very well, and, and I say I know her well in terms of, of her body, and she knows her body well, what she likes and what she tolerates. So these are these are actually 30 gauge needles. They're quite thick, but this is what she likes. She takes very strong treatment. And so what I've done is I've, I've needled the uh, motor point on the pronius, on the pronius longus, and then I've done points along the pronius longus, the upper part of the pronius longus. And every needle that you see there is a, is a place that I've palpated first and found to be tender. Um, and so I'm actually not only releasing the trigger points, but I'm using the, the needles to reduce inflammation and tightness throughout the muscle and fascia. And I'm using the needles to release the fascia as well. So I've got the pronius uh, uh, longus, the upper pronus longus. I've also, we've discovered some very tender points on her tibialis anterior, which I've done in the front there. And I did some electrostim on the tib anterior, but that's secondary to what my goal is here, or what, I, what I'm treating, so I did a little bit of that. And now what I wanted to show you, which is interesting, uh, let me sit down so I can have the camera oriented well, is that now down by the ankle we have the uh, pronius longus, um, let me see where I'm, the pronius longus, these needles here, wrapping around the ankle, we're, we're doing the tendon of the pronius longus, and so yes, you can needle right into tendons, it's very helpful, and um, uh, so I'm doing the, the tendon of the pronius longus as it wraps around, and then I'm also doing, the, this is what I wanted to show you, is the tendon of the pronius brevis. The pronius brevis tends to get really overlooked. It's a smaller muscle that's slightly behind the pronius longus. So that, that those needles there are the pronius longus, and this is the pronius uh, brevis. And so I've done the pronius brevis there with electrical stim, and then that pronius brevis continues around here, and its tendon attachment is on the metatarsal there. So I'm running electrical stimulation on the distal part of the pronius brevis, on the proximal part of the pronius brevis. So the pronius brevis uh, the, the begins around there and then wraps around there. So And, the, and we've identified that the, 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 the two proni, proni as the source of her pain, where she feels her pain. And so then I'm doing electrical stim on, the, on this distal part of the pronius longus. And then I'm also needling into the uh, peroneal ret ret retinocular, uh, the, the peroneal retinocular uh, tendon, sorry, ligament. So the, the tendon goes underneath the ligament and, and you can needle the ligament as well, which I've done there, and also the talofibular ligament, which she always asks me to do, 
which is up here. And remember, she is a ballet dancer, so she's doing very extraordinary things with her feet that you and I would never do, like, like toe. So we've also got the talofibular ligament and the uh, peroneal retinocular ligaments. So you, the point being here, a few points, one is that you can do dry needling into ligaments, you can do dry needling into tendons, as well as into trigger points. And then this is an example of using pretty strong needling with a lot of needles in somebody who's a strong muscular type who likes strong sensation. You have to tailor it to the treatment. There's a YouTube video of a different person who's a dancer who's very needle sensitive, who I'm treating a Morton Aroma on, who I use the, the smallest needles that I have uh, that I would normally use on little children. But because she's so fine boned and delicate, this other person, I'll refer you to that video in the, uh, in the notes underneath this, um, it works great on her um, and I get a strong result. So you always tailor the treatment to the individual. Thanks for tuning in.